Nas for one minute. That was well put. Washington Post. The United States is a lot like a rich businessman who owns two homes, a yacht, millions of dollars in stock, but is in debt because he took out a big loan to buy a private plane. So here we are to protect tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires, the job creators. Four trillion dollars over the last 10 years. Loopholes for corporate jets, you know, for private jets, for the uh, oil companies, hedge fund billionaires to continue tax job. We're going to cut real investment that would create jobs. We're going to reduce investment in transportation infrastructure 35 percent. That's a million jobs gone. Last week, you cut off the FAA, 90,000 private sector jobs and 4,000 government employees. You don't care about the government employees. What about those private sector jobs? A lot of them are small business. Small businesses thought you like small businesses. So we're not only going to cut there, we're going to cut student loans. We're going to cut school nutrition, unemployment insurance, Social Security, and Medicare. Also, the billionaires can keep cruising at 40,000 feet in their private subsidized, tax subsidized jets above the turbulence. The view looks good from up there, and maybe you'll get a ride. Time has expired. What purpose does the gentleman from Illinois rise? Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I taught high school government history for four years.